This is Windy's Grand Zonda 32 RS. And if it looks familiar, it's because this is an upgrade on the 31 Zonda. Windy are all about gentle evolution rather than revolution. It's a really smart boat. And the real big news with this is it's all about performance boating. This is not a big, comfortable, fat cruiser. This is a low, sleek, fast Lamborghini on the water. It's about speed, but it's also about handling. And that's what these boats are really noted for. It's a sharp looking boat. I like that we put the anchor into the stem rather than hanging it over the front. That looks good. The RS version is things like this sort of midnight blue wrap that it's got on it. It's an upgrade on the upholstery. It's a few little details like that. So the standard boat is a Grand Zonda 32. And then, as you can see here, 32 Grand Zonda RS is the one that we're looking at. Let's come around here because it's worth looking at this from all sides. It's a really smart, low, sleek machine. Beautiful. Anyway, let's step on board. We'll give you a full tour. It won't take terribly long because it's a fairly small boat, of course, but it's a very, very nice one. If we come on the back here on the bathing platform, we've got boarding ladder. The thing you notice with Windy straight away is things like this in itself is not unusual. Having a gas strut is. They don't normally bother with things like that. And you'll find with the Windies, it's the detailing on things like that. The things like the stainless steel on the drain for that rather than just plastic. It's a real quality item. And you can see it here as well. If you look at things like even the engine vents, everything's all nicely done in stainless steel. It's beautiful. Little things for the covers, the whole lot. OK, if we step onto here, now it's one of those boats that is, I would say, 70% cockpit, 30% cabin. It's unashamedly a day boat, fun boat with some weekending um, capability as well. So we'll step on here. It does have a canopy that goes over this section, and I will show you that. Um, but first of all, I'm going to show you this, which is fender storage. So you can see they can just drop neatly into there out of the way. That's dead handy on a boat like this, because normally they're just rattling around in the cockpit otherwise. And we've also got the shower there as well. And then we come on around. This can be seating or sunbathing. So basically what you've got is this backrest slides along these tracks here. There's one there, one on that side. So it can be right to the back. And that means even when you're running fast, you can lie on here and they've got a protection of that. Or you can bring it forward to here, have a smaller sunbathing area, but extend the seating in the cockpit around to here as well. And in fact, there's a table that slots into there. I'll show you that in just a moment. Just here, we've got storage dotted around the place under the floor. <laughs> he says, OK, I'll let it out later. That is um, fuel tank, obviously, access to the fuel tank. Where did I see storage? There's storage underneath here. There we go. Let's lift this one out. And what's nice, you can see everything is really nicely lined. But beyond that, if I can do this while holding a GoPro, hang on, I'm going to get inventive now. Here we go. This is really nice because it gives you access into all the engineering areas. These are the bits that are so often hard to get to, but they've designed this to be quite practical. Let's try and put that back again. GoPro clutched between the knees. That's a new trick. Let's put that one back as well. There we go. I do like this upholstery. Um, what else can I show you that's here? We've got seating here, of course, uh, seating at the helm. So double seat on this side, single seat on this side. These have all got lift bolsters on, so you can drop it down for seating, or you can raise it up and sit on the top of that or lean against it. Very nice when you're running fast. The helm itself, this is new. I love these switches. <laughs> they just look really cool. So they're all, the reason they've got these sections here, so if you are against them, you don't accidentally knock the switches if, if you have your knee against it or something. You see how that works. They're all protected, but they're all really nice toggle switches for flicking things on and off with. That works really well. VHF radio is down here. We've got the steering. This all adjusts, of course. Throttle is here. Trim tabs, bow thruster, uh, multifunction display, engine instrumentation and so forth. And if we come forward from here again, I love all this low glare, by the way, so none of this reflects. And we've got this sort of carbon fibre effect on here as well. It looks really smart. And look how solid all this is with this rail on the inside of it all the way around. Very much a windy feature. And if we come down here, 
this takes us down to the interior. Now this is what I mean about the fact it's really a weekender because we've got a big bed in here. It's actually quite a nice comfortable room when you get down into here, but you don't have standing headroom, you don't have any seating. The idea is just a really nice comfortable sleeping area with storage underneath it. Toilet is down in here as well. Lastly, there must be a switch for that somewhere. There we go. You've got the sink in there as well. And in fact, you can now see I've put the lighting on in here as well, which is a bit nicer. But it's all about the quality with these boats. This woodwork is beautiful. We've got hanging locker in there. We've got storage. He says, if you can find the clip. <laughs> there we go. Storage in London, these places like that. All nicely lined, all nicely finished. A bit more storage on that side. Very lovely. And the galley is down here as well. That's here. This is like a, a, it's like a ceramic hob, but it's actually diesel fired, which is quite clever. Um, so that'll work even if you're out at sea. You don't need shore power for that. And then again, we've got storage down underneath here. Cutlery drawer. Crockery up here. It is, you know, it is all you need, isn't it, for a nice weekend on the water. And the access to everything, let's see, look at this. It's all, that's sea cup for the toilet, nice and get out of all. You might be asking, where's the fridge? And I'll show you. That is underneath there. So it's accessible from the galley and also straight from the cockpit. There we go. Speaker systems in here for the Fusion Hi-Fi. You've got them there and there and over there. And then I'm going to show you the engine, which is... Let's take that off of there a minute before we lose it. There we are. There's a button here marked hatch. Let's try that one, shall we? There we go. Now there's a couple of things to show you underneath here. The most important, of course, is the engine itself. This is a D6 440, so 440 horsepower. It's a straight six, turbocharged and supercharged, and it's giving the boat over 40 knots. It is an absolute flying machine. It's a proper performance boat. Cruising, therefore, 30 knots plus, it is a serious ground covering machine. What I don't know, being perfectly honest, is the range. I'm gonna guess that this sort of boat normally at that sort of speed you normally expect between sort of two and three hundred miles, but, um, but I don't know for sure, so you need to check on that. But yeah, what's nice about this is there's lots of space around it. You can get right down here, get to everything. Batteries are down here, and the same on the other side. You can get right round this. That works well. That's the trim motors for the, um, for the power trim, for the outdrive. It's all nice and clean and new, isn't it? But the other thing we've got down here is the table. So the cockpit table lives here. That just slots into there, and that is the leg for it. And then finally, the canopy is in here. And this is quite clever, because what they've done is the canopy lives on its framework. And all you do with this is you flip this one here up, like that, and then this whole thing will just physically lift up and out. And you can see it hinges from there. So the whole thing just comes up into place, supports itself, and then you can just drop the sides down and the front down, drop it all into place. And the idea is it's quick and easy to deploy. And that means that you use this area as your, if you like, your saloon area, your living area. Um, when the weather's not so good, you can still be up here and keep that as a separate sleeping area. So that works very well indeed. Brilliant. OK, let's drop that one back down. I can find it. Where have you gone? Hatch. There we go. And the only thing I haven't shown you is the foredeck. Let's just put that one back down as well before we forget. Now, normally, of course, you go down the side decks, but this one doesn't have side decks. What they've done is taken the cockpit right out to the edges. You can see here, it's not designed to go around the outside. This is the full beam of the boat. So the way you get onto the foredeck is up these steps here. It's quite nice because you're at the helm, of course, it's a very quick jaunt out and up, rather than having to come out of here and then go back and around and then back up along the side decks. So this opens 
by releasing those couple of catches. And then that whole thing pivots across like that. There we go. And then you just walk up here. Grab a hold of that. And you're up and onto the front. There we go. If we wander up through here, we can find the anchor winch. And that's the anchor that we saw actually recessed into the stem on the bow. And the buttons for that are on either side. They've got little flip-up sections so that if you stand on that, you won't accidentally send the anchor into free fall. Or not free fall in that case, because that's the up one. But you won't operate the anchor by mistake. Again, all stainless steel everywhere on this. It's really nicely done. And that, my friends, is about the size of that. It's a compact boat, but it's a brilliant one. There we go. Let's come back down here. And I'm going to finish up at the helm. I'm going to say massive thanks to Saltwater Solutions. They're based in Poole. They're the dealers for these. And massive thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know think of that one. As I say, it's not a big fat cruiser. It is, however, an awful lot of fun. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.